Breaking news, Victor Osman could take legal action against Napoli per his agent Roberto Calenda formal statement. What happened today on Napoli's official profile on the TikTok platform is not acceptable. A video mocking Victor was, was first made public and then, but now belatedly deleted. A serious fact that caused very serious damage to the player and adds to the treatment that the boy is suffering. In the last period between media trials and fake news, we reserve the right to take legal action and any useful initiative to protect Victor. So what does all this mean for Arsenal? Potentially, this is the key to getting Victor Osman, right? So all of a sudden, we need a striker. We've been linked with Ivan Tony, But now, there's... There's rumbling in the camp of Napoli. I remember this guy made a comment on my video, the video I made about getting Victor Osman. This guy saying that you can't get Osman. Osman will never leave Napoli, especially to Arsenal. Now, this is a, a door. This is a potential door that we could step in. If there's a misgruntle, if there's problems over the camp of Napoli, over in the camp of Victor Osman, through his agent or through whatsoever is going on right now, there's a potential we can sneak in that door. We can sneak in that door and snap Victor as Osman, possibly even in January. We might not need to wait for the summer window. So for me, this is brilliant, brilliant news. We put, there's a potential that we can get Victor Osman. Now, if it so happened that they make up and things get sorted out, there's still going to be a lingering doubt in the player's mind. Thinking, they did, they done me dirty. They didn't do me right. And this could lead with the player being unsettled and whenever a player is unsettled you know that there's a high chance that he can leave so hopefully victor osman we're waiting for you mate we need a striker right now we've been linked with Ivan tony but i believe that victor osman is a better upgrade because he's younger he's sharper he's more aggressive he's more agile even though i still rate Ivan tony but victor osman there's a there's a slight chance there's a slight chance here we go for Bizzo romano by the way, this is a tweet from Fabrizio Romano, a very, very reliable journalist. Now, I'm seeing we've been linked with Oli Watkins today and Ivan Tony. And for me, I didn't, I don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily want Oli Watkins. But if we can get rid of Enketia, right? If we could get rid of Enketia and get Oli Watkins in January and get rid of Enketia in summer, for me, I'm all for that. But we still need a dominant striker inside the box. We still need a tall player. And for me, that is Ivan Tony or Victor Osman. If we could get Victor Osman in January, trust me, we're winning the Premier League and we're winning the Champions League. In if we can get that deal done in January. Or possibly Ivan Tony. So to be I see that Edo um newspaper articles are saying that Edo is basically um talking to Aston Villa trying to get um trying to get um Ollie Watkins over the line. And if we can get rid of Enketia, for me, Oli Watkins is not a bad signing because he's an improvement to Enketia. He's, he plays similar to Enketia and he's a more clinical striker. But we need someone else. We need three um, top, top, top players in. Because Gabriel Jesus, I believe that he needs to drift to the right, to the left. He's not a striker. We need a clinical striker. Oli Watkins is very short. He's agile. And he plays with a low center of gravity. So we need a striker like that. That's clinical. That's Oli Watkins. And we also need a lonky, a tall striker. That is fast. That's good at breaking the defense. That's good at peeling off the defense. And that's very good at scoring. A goal scorer. So that would be Victor Osman. And that would be Ivan Tony. But for me, my preference is Victor Osman. I want Victor Osman because we see he's been brilliant. Napoli is the, the only reason why Napoli has been performing this good is because of Victor Osman. And they're right, Kravatsia, Kravatskia. But Victor Osman, give us Victor Osman all day, man. So hopefully this this um, fallout will give, put us in good stead. Who knows? Probably it's Victor Osman's camp, basically trying to cause problem where there's no problem because they see that Arsenal need a striker and this player probably perhaps want to move. Now, I know that when it comes down to the money, the money isn't an issue. I know we can afford him, right? I know we can afford him and I believe in Edo. Even if there's a possibility that the financial player won't allow us, I know that Edo will get cooking. He will sort something out in a deal just like we've done with David Ray and Brentford. He will sort something out in a deal to get Victor Osman. Even if we have to overpay, get Victor Osman. And if we can't, if he doesn't want to come, 
if Napoli doesn't want to solve, then we're going to have to settle with Ivan Tony. But to me, is an adequate is an adequate alternative to Victor Osman. So that's the video there. And then, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.